Well guys, welcome to another episode of the Outdoor Boys. Me and my little hombre Nathan here. We are going to make a tomahawk throwing range. Is that I guess how we say it? I don't I don't know sure what the technical term is it. We're gonna make a big freaking wooden target and tomahawks so that we can throw tomahawks at big freaking wooden targets. So does that sound fun? Yeah! Yeah, let's do it! Well, as you can tell, I like to collect old uh, axe heads and restore them, get them all cleaned up, put out handles on them. And in my journeys, I came across this beauty. This tomahawk was forged in southern Germany, and it's got the most beautiful maker's marks on it. I just love the look and feel of this thing. The only problem is it doesn't need any restoration. It has got a wicked edge on it. It is clean. It is perfect. I just need to slap a handle on this thing and that is not enough for an entire video. So I'm gonna do something else, something I've wanted to do for a while. I want to also have a target to throw tomahawks at. Like not just a piece of plywood, I want like a legit awesome looking tomahawk throwing range. So we're gonna be making a target to throw tomahawks at. And to do that, I need a really big wood round. And luckily, I've got a neighbor who's going to hook me up. But these suckers are not light. So I'm going to hook up the trailer, and I've got to come along and some other stuff. We're going to go see if we can't get one of these wood rounds loaded up. All right, so here are the wood rounds. And uh, we need to pick a really nice big one here. This one's looking really nice. That's, that's a pretty good looking one. All right, I think that's the biggest one. Let me see if I can even get that thing on its side, though. It's gonna videotape me herniating a disc here. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, oh. oh a snake! Look, little gardener snake. Hey, I got that. Duck. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's a pretty big piece of wood right there. All right, that actually worked. Cool. Yeah, anywhere he wants. Go, got a couple of really nice wood rounds. Let's go. You know, my problem is my chainsaw just isn't quite long enough. This isn't quite the right tool for the job. But I'm going to go down through it and I'm going to cut to at least the L on this side. And then I'm going to cut to the M on this side. That should do it. <laughs> actually not too bad. Oh, look at that cool grain in there. Well, the sun up and set on me, but I got that wood round cut down to the size I needed and uh, yeah, not too bad, but I'm gonna call it, go eat some dinner and I'll pick this up tomorrow. All right. Now I've got this piece of reclaimed lumber from an old barn in Florida. I thought it was gonna be like some sort of hardwood. That's what I was told. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's like pine or something. It's, uh, it's fairly soft, but uh, it's been sitting on my scrap pile for a long time. It's, uh, so I decided that now is it's time to shine. We're gonna turn this into the base of our tomahawk target. Here we go, get some of that mud off. I think I'm just one piece of wood shy of getting this done. So keeping with the theme of reclaimed wood, 
I've got this uh, two by four for my old forge stand uh, that I'm gonna use and uh, that's gonna be the back brace. There we go. Look at that. That target looks pretty darn sweet, so I'm gonna try it out with my tactical tomahawk first. There we go. All right, guys, now we need to put a handle on this gorgeous tomahawk. And I have this piece of wood here. I think this is called Murado. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but look at the grain on that. And I've got this chunk right here where it's got a bit of blondness right in there. And I'm gonna use this piece right here. Give it a nice swirly pattern. This is gonna be gorgeous. That's why you say I can watch you build one. <laughs> <laughs> By far the hardest part of this whole process is trying to shape the wood to fit exactly in the eye because you know it's pretty round but it's not exactly round and you're basically freehanding this you know trying to sit there and eyeball it it's really easy to mess up looks okay all right now I just need to go ahead and shape the rest of the handle so that's not quite as precise so it goes a little bit faster Well, that was a lot of grinding, but I finally got it done. It's pretty darn round. A little bit thicker on the bottom than the top. Looks pretty good, feels great. So now I gotta sand this sucker, and I'm gonna get myself a chair. Oh, it's nice to sit down. There we go, it's all sanded. What do you think of that? Well, this handle came out awesome and I can't wait to get the tomahawk head mounted on this thing, but I need to make a wedge first. So we're gonna go do that. Got this little bit of scrap wood here and I'm gonna use that to make my wedge. There we go, there's a little wedge. I wasn't 100% sure what this scrap wood was when I started making this wedge, but I'm pretty sure this is purple heartwood. So far so good. Now we're gonna get some boiled linseed oil here. And we are going to get this thing shiny. The fun thing about boiled linseed oil is it acts like a lubricant when it's fresh, but after it's sat for a little while, it gets sticky and then turns into an adhesive. So it's great for putting on ax heads because it helps them slide right on. And then after it's been on for a little while, it starts to get sticky and it doesn't, makes it hard for them to slide off. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna drive this little metal wedge in, kind of at an angle.
Uh, it cracked a little bit, but it's in there. It is what it is now. So guys, here it is. Here's the finished product. Look at that. I want to have that one. You want to have it? Mm-hmm. Is, is that heavy? This little bit. Nathan, over here. Over here. Oh, look at that. I just threw one. Guy, look at this. There we go. There you go. Oh, look at that. Nathan, did you have a good time? Yeah. Oh, this was a load of fun and what a gorgeous tomahawk, man. I am so pleased with this thing and it's a load of fun to throw. I like the target too. I think I'm gonna do uh, some other things. I've got an idea for a Ninja Throwing Star video that I might uh, use that, that target with. Um, but at any rate, thanks for watching guys. We hope you liked this video. If you wanna see more great ax restoration and tool restoration videos, check out our playlist. We have tons of them. And if you want to see more Outdoor Boys videos, click subscribe. Yeah, click subscribe. <laughs> we put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys.